raise your concerns to um, the offense about? The third and one and the fourth and one, because uh, I know one of those plays I have missed a, a, a hole that a bus could drive through. <laughs> so that's probably one of the bigger ones that stuck out to me and kind of got under my skin. And also the, the drop pass that I had, that's not characteristic of me at all. And just making sure I keep my hand, I mean, keep my eyes on the ball, tuck the ball in before I catch it. Is there anything you said, maybe the offensive line, or maybe another position player, is that, you know, maybe if we tried this and did this, it might open the hole. Anything situationally or hypothetically you said to them? Uh, no, I just went to my, uh, I went to Coach Wheely and asked him what we could have, what we can change. Should we change up our landmarks? Should we deepen up a step and be more patient? That's all he, that's all he really tells us. He said, just go with the game plan and, and eventually, with the, the the vision question, finding you know those holes like you mentioned, for someone who was not a Division One running back, <laughs> how would you kind of describe like how that's a changeable or you know something that can actually be improved? Like, you know, it's not lifting weights. It's kind of a, it's a different kind of deal. It's uh, you know, at, during practice, if you if you execute execute those things at practice, then you should. Well, our coach says if you execute, execute this in practice, it's going to be just like that in the game. You're going to be more prepared for it. You'll see it easier. And yeah, that's, probably, that's about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, did you uh, – I guess when you're working on that in practice, is it just a matter of, you know, keeping your head up or is it a matter of, you know, keeping your head on the swivel or, or what? Just being, being more patient and making sure you see <laughs> everything, see the whole field, not just lock in on one, okay. one spot. How'd you guys grade out as a unit in that game? Would you say as the running backs? Uh, I don't. I can't really. I don't know. But I know I graded out myself, and I gave myself a C. And that's. I guess I can't answer for like mm -hmm. Ty or Derek or it's mm -hmm. Ross Douglas. So why a C? You know, because miss, missing the holes, missing. I mean, dropping passes, not getting not not getting out quick enough on. Uh, um, protections and into your route comes into a factor. Does that stuff jump out at you when you watch the film, or is it something that they're, they're going through with you, or is it something that you see it right away and you know what it was? I watched, it, I watched the game right after, right when we got on the bus, and I noticed every little mistake I did. And like, if you watch it with the team even more, you, you, you see how many more, even more mistakes you make. And the coach points it out to you, and he tells us what we should do to try to fix it and move forward from it. You currently view yourself as the number one running back on this team. Yes. Is that that was kind of a? Um, I'd say maybe in the beginning of the summer, even in the spring, you were kind of a little bit of an overlooked guy, and maybe in that competition. Do you a feel that way, and do you feel like you have you always felt like you were the number one running back? I mean, uh, I really didn't pay attention to any of that. I was just trying my hardest to be number one, and then the coaches put me in at number one uh, at the beginning of the season. So I was always just trying to be prepared for it. My brothers always told me to be ready for my moment. So the, I guess the competition for that job, when you say you were made number one at the beginning of the season, when did you actually?